Okay. Hi there. The great and glorious one day to be famous Nick Dutch yet again. Um, just a very quick one today. I had um, an issue recently with this one particular person I met in, uh, in an event where I was doing some of my readings. Obviously I'm a professional tarot reader and uh, we were discussing the idea of belief. Yes, I believe in what I do, but I've got to be skeptical of my experiences, as I've mentioned in uh, other videos that I've done. Uh, also, I have to be skeptical about other people's claims to the supernatural. Uh, I cannot say, I believe in ghosts. I cannot say, I believe in spirits. Because each one of those little phrases is weighed down with so many meanings that people have ascribed to them it would be daft of me to say that because I know that I would be misinterpreted or misunderstood if I was just to use a simplistic phrase like that so I can't say I believe in something or other this one particular person that I was talking to took serious offense with me because I said that I do not believe because I choose to think about my experiences. Yes, I do ritual work. Yes, I do meditation. Yes, I do prayer work. And all these things are part and parcel of who I am, what I'm about, and the way that I learn. Yes, I do get strange experiences, and with time I practice with them to try and work out the ways in which I could do some things better, uh, what things seem to work better, and what things seem to work better in terms of creating results, and what variety of results I'm creating. So after a time, I can say that if I do get into the right state of mind, I use um, the right kinds of ideas when I'm doing ritual work, prayer work, meditation, when I'm doing readings, and so on and so forth, it is more likely that I can get a certain result. Right? That is much I can say. But I can't extrapolate from that too much to say that, yes, on that particular day, um, the God of Lightning decided to come down into my flat and say, Hi, how's it going? My name's Thor. I'll be your deity for this afternoon. Um, so, um, your wish is my command. Because basically, that would be a load of crap. This person, of course, you know, the person I was talking to in this event seriously attacked me for saying that you do all this stuff, you don't believe it. No, I do all this stuff, I know what I've experienced, I'm still working with finding the methods of trying to create good results. I have a wide variety of experiences which can be used for um, spiritual purposes, enlightenment, um, getting clarity. Uh, and also to be able to have some kind of interference or, or interface with other people when they're dreaming or when they're sleeping to give them um, some experiences which I have been able to deliberately create and this does happen under certain circumstances however I, al I also admit that human skill is essentially variable if you were a footballer maybe nine times out of ten you could put the, the football in the goal from the other side of the pitch but maybe one time out of ten, you don't do it. So you can't guarantee every single time you're going to do that. Just if you're a championship darts player, you couldn't always get the, um, the travel 20 every single time. Because human skill is variable. Especially when we're dealing with something as subtle and etheric as um, the ideas behind the thoughts, meditation, states of mind, the um, theoretical concept of gnosis, uh, and also the more spiritual concepts that you use when you're doing forms of reading which is actually more receptive rather than transmitted so to speak All right. so I therefore say no I don't believe that now I can correlate that idea with a story about Karl Marx for, you know this guy he he founded Marxism so once, once upon a time he met this young buck who completely misunderstood everything that Karl Marx was trying to say and Karl Marx then said to this young buck, so you think that you're a Marxist? And this young buck said, well, this, yeah, what, what I'm talking about is Marxism. But Marx disagreed with that and then said, therefore, I am not a Marxist, right? Therefore, I would say when someone says, but you're not a believer, I'd say, no, I'm not a believer in your, you know, your pop culture understanding of what the supernatural is about, your... You know, your horoscope magazine understanding of what the supernatural is about. In that respect, no, I'm not a believer. But in the fact 
I follow the definition of magic as I as I mentioned in my previous videos. You'll notice I've got a playlist. Alright, and if you go through that, that shows you what magic is and what is not. Go through the whole playlist and find out from there. Alright. And I also did another bit about magic and theory and practice, you know, <coughs> when I talked about the idea of art and science in the definition of magic as in a school of approach to something. So we have to be thinkers. We can't just be these wonderful empathic, you know, uh, one brain, one side of the brain people who just feel. We've got to be able to categorize our experiences, otherwise we're going to be able to end up believing all kinds of stuff which is thrown at us, especially when you're on YouTube and you're, you know, you're listening to people talking about their, um, their beliefs. I mean, yeah. I can say that um, I can do a magic ritual. Okay, yes, and I will have some experiences which would suggest to me that there is another presence in the circle and I can then get some kind of communication with it. What I don't say is that the one and only Archangel Michael decided to come down and have tea with me, okay? That, it, it doesn't work. We have to be rational. 